Hello, and welcome to Costit's Moodle Upgrade Tutorial Series, where we will be showing you, our faculty members, how to successfully migrate your courses from Moodle 3.5 to version 4.3. During the initial migration, we are asking that only courses that are being taught for the September semester be moved. We will be showing you how to do this by means of this video series. However, if after your first attempts, you require further guidance, you can always reach out to the Moodle team and we would be happy to assist. In our first video, we will be showing you how to back up your course on the old Moodle instance. First, find the course you wish to migrate. For this video, we will be using this course as our demo. Once in your course, on the left-hand side of the navigation pane, scroll to Course Administration and select Backup. This will bring you to the Backup Settings page. These few pages allows us to select and confirm what we would like to migrate from this course. On this first page, we want to deselect the box, Include Enrolled Users. Once completed, select Next. This page shows you your entire course sorted in its usual format. It contains all your files, assignments and other information that you would have used to build your course. Here, you can select what you wish to migrate. If there are items you do not want moved, deselect the box next to the item. If you wish to migrate everything as is, just scroll to the end of the page and select Next. On this final review page, one thing to confirm before continuing, is to ensure that Include Enrolled Users has a red X next to it. This would ensure that the first step was completed successfully. This is necessary as we do not want to carry old student information into our new shell. Once satisfied, select Perform Backup. A status bar will highlight that the backup is in progress, and once completed, you will see the following message, the backup file was successfully created. From here, select continue. On this page, scroll to the section titled, user private backup area, and here you will find your course that was backed up in the previous step. We want to download this course and save it in a folder that is easily found when the time comes to restore it in the new Moodle instance. If you are using Chrome as I am in this tutorial, you would see the download status in this area and a dialog box would pop up alerting you when it's complete. Here you can select the icon that says show in folder or you can navigate to your default downloads folder and your file would be there. As stated prior, you can copy this file and save it to a folder of your choosing or you can leave it in your downloads folder. In our next video we will show you how to restore this course to the new Moodle instance. 